To make a lemon battery, we'll first need five pieces of copper, four galvanized nails, which are coated in zinc, four large lemons, a voltmeter, which has a positive and negative cable, and also an LED. Because an LED does require a significant amount of voltage, we'll need to be connecting all four of the lemons. To do this, we will need to wrap the copper wire around the nails in a way so that we can connect the lemons via the copper cable. Because the gauge of copper cable that I'm using is not particularly bendable, I'm using needle nose pliers to bend the cable to the proper shape. Once all four of the nails have been connected with the copper cable, we can start construction. We will start by rolling the lemons on the cutting board in order to break up the juice packets inside the lemon. This will release the acid, which we will use as our ionic compound, which will help in the transfer of electrons from the anode to the cathode. This can be done with almost any type of acid, but citric acid is what we will be using in this case. We will need to connect each of the lemons. To do this, we will screw one of the screws into one side of each of the lemons. Then, we will take the other lemon and insert the copper cable. We will continue to do this with the rest of the lemons. These zinc coated nails and the copper cable will function as our anode and our cathode during this experiment. The electrons will leave the zinc coated nail, the cathode, and travel through the ionic compound to the copper cable, which will be functioning as our cathode, the acceptor of electrons. This will create an electric current which we can use to power an LED. With the addition of our final zinc coated nail and our last copper piece, we have completed construction on our lemon battery. As you can see, I've bent the copper piece to add more surface area to the final cathode. By puncturing a hole in the lemon skin, it is easier to insert the copper piece. I also will bend a piece in the top of this last copper piece so it will be easier to connect to both the LED and the voltmeter. Now that we've finished our final construction, we can use our voltmeter to determine if we have sufficient voltage to power an LED. The positive end goes to our cathode, the copper piece, and the negative end goes to our anode, the zinc nail. As you can see, it reads about 6 volts. If we transfer to a more sensitive setting, we can see it is actually about 6.6 .6 volts. This should be enough voltage to power an LED. I've turned off the lights so that we can more clearly see the LED. The positive end is connected to the correct side and this shows that the LED is lighting. And that's how you make a lemon battery.